Ever heard of the center of civilization in Yoruba mythology? The place where the gods led by Odudua descended from heaven and created the world as we know it? The home of 401 deities? Don't force, I'm about to blow your mind with 5 things you didn't know about ancient Ilefe in southwest Nigeria. Hi everybody, welcome back to Akata TV. It feels good to be back with more exciting and informative content but before I go on, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. So what are the things you didn't know about ancient Ilefe? Number 5. Center of Creation According to Yoruba mythology, Ileife is the cradle of creation and civilization. But more importantly, the storybooks claim that the gods led by Odudua and comprising Ogun, Obatala, among others, descended from a chain from the sky down to the earth, particularly Okiora, a hill just outside Ife, before moving to the town itself. A spectacle of how Odudua descended from Ife can be found in front of the Oni's palace. Number 4. Yeye Molu, the immortalized living spring. Yeye Molu, now a well of water, was the wife and queen of Odudua. She is often regarded as the first wife of all other Onis and a legacy passed on by Odudua to every subsequent Oni of Ife down to the incumbent king and the 51st is Imperial Majesty Adeyeye Eniton Ogunwusi or Jaja II. Although she is no more in the physical realm, Yeye Molu could not conceive and insisted that her husband should marry a second wife who would bear him children. Years later, Yeye Molu went missing in the palace. Whilst in search for Yeye Molu, one of the MSAs, a king's aide, found a freshly dug well which reported to the king. After several divinations, it was found that it was Yeye Molu who transformed into a well. One mysterious thing about the well is when anything drops into it mistakenly, the item mysteriously returns to the top of the well in 24 hours. Ever since, Yeye Molu is the first contact of any Oni in the palace and it is pertinent to perform some rite as would be expected of an Oni Risha to his beloved Olori on entering the palace, one of which is literally crossing the well. Also together as couples, the king deliberates with his beloved wife Yeye Molu on his activities and decides on steps to be taken on a daily basis. The water from this well is said to be used to carry out all water required activities of the Onirisha in the palace. Number 3. Home of Deities and Daily Sacrifices Ife is the home of creation and since Yoruba mythology says all gods arrived in Ife first, it is therefore not surprising to note that Ife is inhabited by 401 deities. These deities include Obatala, Ifa, Ogun and others. The Oni is also an important deity and is regarded as the 401st deity. However, one thing you may not know about Ife is its strict inclination to traditional events to the extent that sacrifices are carried out daily except on one day which is known only to the Oni and traditional priests in charge of sacrifices. Number 2. Mystery of the Are Crown The Are Crown is a mysterious crown worn only once in a year and it is believed to possess the power that instantly transfigures the Oni to a status of a god. The crown is worn during the Olojo Cultural Festival which is the biggest festival on the Ife cultural calendar. However, the mystery of the Are Crown is that it weighs over 100 kilograms which is the size of a human being. Prior to wearing the crown, the Oni is usually in seclusion for up to 5 days with special sacrifices to possess the magical strength to carry such a heavy crown. The crown is said to be over 400 years old and dates back to the time of Odudua. Number 1. A King Who Ruled For Centuries You must have seen the Ife cast head usually named Oba Lufon. Well, Ife history tells us that Oba Lufon Ogogodiri, the fourth king in Ileife, reigned for centuries ending in the name Ogogodiri, meaning one who lived for a very long time 
An historical account says he later transfigured into a metal figurine as he aged and eventually became a deity. He is also the father of one of the most popular Oni, the Oba Lufon, Alaye Mori. It was learned that Oba Lufon Shrine till date plays an important role in the installation of every Oni after him, as Are Crown is always blessed in a shrine before it will be placed on the head of the new Oni. I guess you didn't know this much about the ancient Elefe. Well, now you know. Don't miss any historical detail at this time. Subscribe and turn on notification and don't forget to share, okay? Until next time when I'll be giving you more exciting information on not just Ife but other parts of Africa. Take care.